Assalamualaikum viewers. Today is my eighth lecture, and uh, it is, as a matter of fact, continuation of my previous subject, and that is the plan change. If you remember, initially, when I gave you the definition of organization development, I told you, and we discussed in detail too, that the change in organization development is a plan change. So, therefore, it has to proceed with a certain sequence. And certainly, there were certain scientific bases on which plan change need to be occurring. So, in my last lecture, I discussed one of the three models. And the last model was the Levin's change model. Today, I'll be talking with you the two remaining models, and that is the action plan model and the contemporary action plan. But before I start talking about the action research model, let me quickly revise so that I should pick up a couple of the things which I mentioned in the Levin's change model. I hope you must have come prepared, you must have come revised what I discussed with you earlier. But keeping in mind that Levin's change model was apparently pretty simple. That is, there were three distinct stages or phases, whatever you may call it. But basically focusing on first, unfreezing, secondly moving, and third, refreezing. Levin believed that unless and until the old habits are changed, that is, you unfreeze, you get to realize what is going wrong. Only then any, any change can introduce into our system. So that is why he explained that in the unfreezing process, there are three areas to be focused distinctly. And of course, in an organization, individuals come first. And for unfreezing the individual habits, he told us there are three ways. One was disconfirmation, that is, an individual must find out, must pay attention to what is wrong and what should be done, what is not working correctly and what could work correctly. In a way, that is a sort of realization. And without realization, an individual will not attempt to accept change, to embrace change, or to bring in change within himself or herself. So Levin believed that in an organization, the first focus for unfreezing must be on the individual side. That is, to break that rigidity in an individual, unfreezing should be done there. And for that, I said disconfirmation. And then the second way to introduce unfreezing process in an individual was, that is, we must let that individual know that there are better ways of doing things. Realization, either anxiety or guilt. Unless until we induct this thing in an individual, that is the induction process, the individual will not realize. So disconfirmation and induction of guilt or anxiety. But both these cannot bring in the unfreezing process in an individual unless an individual is given a sense of security, psychological safety, psychological security. That if a person changes or makes wrong decisions, because of course when you learn, you have got a tendency to make, uh, to take wrong decisions, the person will not be penalized. So, ye teen cheezo se Levin ne kaha ke individuals ke andar hum unfreezing ka process introduce kar sakte. Ek to ye tha ke individuals ko humne kaise unfreeze karna hai. Second area was the organization structure, organization system. Individuals vacuum mein to operate nahi karte. Lehaza, vaha bhi system ko change karna simultaneously, unfreeze karna bahut zoori hai. Work design kya hai? 
کیسے ریلیشن شپ کیا ہے رپورٹنگ سسٹم کیا ہے وغیرہ وغیرہ یہ سائمٹینیسلی اس نے کہا کہ یہ بھی آرگنائزیشن سسٹم میں یہاں بھی چینج لانا ضروری اینڈ دا تھرڈ ایریا واز دی اوور آل آرگنائزیشن کلائمیٹ دیٹ از کنفلکٹ کیسے ریزالو کرنے ہیں ڈسیجن ٹیکنگ کیسے کرنے ہیں سو یہ تینوں چیزیں بہت اور میں نے آئی گیو یو آ لولی ایگزامپل آف یورپن ایئر لائن انہوں نے یہ کیسے تینوں چیزیں انٹروڈیوس کر کے ایک ایسی ایئر لائن وچ واز گوئنگ ڈاؤن گوئنگ اٹ لاس اینڈ پیپل ویری فرسٹریٹیڈ اٹ واز اے ویری ریجڈ اسٹرکچر انہوں نے اسے کمپلیٹلی ٹرانسفارم کیا اینڈ میڈ اٹ ایز ون آف دی فیوریٹ ایئر لائنس کچھ تھوڑی سی چیزیں ہائی لائٹ کروں گا اس کے اندر بیکاز آج جو ایکشن ریسرچ ماڈل میں نے آپ کو بتانا ہے بیسیکلی یہ ایز اے میٹر فیکٹ آج دو ماڈلس میں آپ سے ڈسکس کروں گا اور تینوں ماڈل چینج کے پورے ہو جائیں گے لیکن ان میں جو چیزیں کامن ہے کہ تینوں ماڈلس میں ہم کہیں نہ کہیں ان فریزنگ فریزنگ اور ری فریزنگ دیکھیں گے لیکن الیون ماڈل میں آپ آج کے ماڈل سے بہت ڈسٹنگ چیزیں دیکھتے ہیں جو کہ میں نے آپ کو ایگزامپل میں بتائی تھی کہ وہاں ریڈیکل ٹرانسفارمیشن ہوئی اور ریڈیکل ٹرانسفارمیشن کیسے ہوئی دیٹ از دے چینج دی کلچر آل ٹوگیدر مائنڈ اٹ ان دی آرگنائزیشن ڈیولپمنٹ ڈیفینیشن آپ نے لاسٹ پارٹ بہیویئرل چینج بہیویئرل نالج جو تھا وہ بہت امپورٹنٹ تھا لہذا جتنے بھی چینجز آئیں گے اس میں آرگنائزیشن کلچر ایک بہت امپورٹنٹ کمپوننٹ پلے کرتا ہے اور جیسے میں نے جب آرگنائزیشن کلچر پہ لیکچر دیا تو آئی ٹول یو دیٹ اینی چینج ان این آرگنائزیشن وچ ڈز ناٹ ٹچ اپن دی کلچر ول ناٹ بی ایبل ٹو سسٹین دیٹ چینج وہ آرگنائزیشن وہ کل وہ چینج کو سسٹین کر ہی نہیں پائے گی اینڈ دیٹس وائی ول ناٹ بی این آرگنائزیشن ڈیولپمنٹ جو میں نے آپ کو ایگزامپل دی اس کے اندر آپ نے دیکھا کہ ریڈیکل ان فریزنگ کیسے ہوئی بورڈ آف گورنرس کا چیئرمین چینج کر دیا گیا چیف ایگزیکٹو آفیسر نیا آ گیا اور ہیومن ریسورس ڈیولپمنٹ لیا اینڈ دیز تھری پیپل ان فیکٹ گیو اے نیو مشن ٹو دی آرگنائزیشن انہوں نے کانٹینیوس ٹریننگ کی انہوں نے لوور لیول پہ بھی ٹریننگ کی دوز پیپل ہو آر ڈائریکٹلی ان کانٹیکٹ ود دی کسٹمرز ان کو ان کو ٹرین کیا اینڈ دے گیو اے سلوگن پوٹنگ پیپل فرسٹ اوپر مینجمنٹ لیول کے اوپر چینج لائے ٹریننگ کی مینجنگ پیپل فرسٹ مشن دیا گیا ان کو ایک ویژن دیا گیا اور ساتھ ہی جو ٹرانسفارمیشن آرگنائزیشن میں ہوا وہ یہ تھا کہ دے چینج دی آرگنائزیشن فرام آ ٹرانسپورٹ آرگنائزیشن ٹو آ سروس آرگنائزیشن مائنڈ دس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ایلیمنٹ آئی وانٹ یو ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دس جب آپ آرگنائزیشن کو چینج کرتے ہیں then you have to change the whole philosophy of that organization by simply changing a slogan a motto you give a different message aur aaj isko main further aapko isi baat ke upar aur dilate karke bataunga how important a slogan is jaise us example mein unhone transport se service they were as a matter of fact transporting people from one destination to another but They said, no, let's change the philosophy. It is service to people. This is the way it is. Supposing you are a doctor and uh, you develop that feeling that I am treating patients. Now, you are treating patients. You are treating patients. And if you change it a little bit and say that I am serving humanity, the concept will change. Your attitude will change. آپ کا ویلیو سسٹم چینج ہو جائے گا آپ کا بیہیویئر چینج ہو جائے گا تو لہذا چینج سسٹم کے اندر اور جب وین وائی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی آرگنائزیشن ڈیولپمنٹ جس میں ہم پلان چینج کی بات کرتے ہیں کانٹینیوس چینج کی بات کرتے ہیں تو اس کے اندر یہ فلسفیکل چینج بہت امپورٹنٹ ہے آج کے لیکچر میں میرا فوکس ہوگا ایکشن ریسرچ کے اوپر ریمبر جب میں ایولیوشن آف او ڈی کی بات کر رہا تھا تو ایکشن ریسرچ واز دا سیکنڈ اسٹیم 
पहला ट्रेनिंग था दूसरा था एक्शन रिसर्च और चलते चलते ये भी बताता चलू कि ये तीनों जो चेंज मॉडल्स हैं ये बेसिकली लेवन की फिलोसफी लेवन की थियोरी पे ही बेस्ड है और एक्शन रिसर्च लेवन ने कहा था कि कोई एक्शन लेने से पहले ये जरूरी है कि आप रिसर्च कर लें ये मैं पहले बता चुका हूं लेकिन जस्ट टू रिमाइंड यू बिकॉज वी ऑल हैव अ टेंडेंसी टू फोगेट सो लेवन सेड दैट यू मस्ट डू रिसर्च फर्स्ट एंड देन टेक एक्शन एंड वेन यू हैव टेकन द एक्शन यू मस्ट अगेन गो इन टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ further research to find out whether the action you have taken is bearing that fruit or not so ye process continue hona chahiye and the survival of that change is only that you risk do some research take action further research and find out what's the fault more action and cyclical process goes on aaj ka lecture mostly focused hai on uh, how to utilize action research the process involved in action research model involved certain phases call it phases or stages but later on main aapko bataunga ke it's better to call them phases one starts with the problem identification then goes to consultation with behavioral science expert then the next step is data gathering and preliminary diagnosis then that leads to feedback to key client or group then to joint diagnosis of problem leading to joint action planning action and then data gathering here you would notice ke action ke baad hum mazid data gathering karte hain after action so actually jo maine aapko action research mein baat ki it is here then you again go back to there's a loop going to feedback to key client or group so as a matter of fact ye art phases hain lekin for the sake of convenience and from the perspective of od consultant i am going to break it down into six phases wo kya hai aapko screen ke upar saaton phases nazar aa rahe hain pehla hai entry this is where the problem identification takes place that is somebody from the organization realizing what the problems are realizing what the mistakes are happening in the organization jo problems hain unko identify karne ke baad needs a change so that's why contacts problem identification ke baad contacts the organization development uh, consultant so wahan jo organization development consultant contact karta hai क्लाइंट से सो दैट इज द इनिशियल एंट्री पॉइंट ऑफ एन आउटसाइडर आपको आगे चल के अभी मैं आपको कंफ्यूज नहीं करना चाहता लेकिन कभी कभी इंटरनल ओडी भी होते हैं लेकिन फॉर द टाइमिंग जस्ट कीप इन माइंड दैट हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन एक्सटर्नल कंसल्टेंट सो द फर्स्ट इज द एंट्री पॉइंट सेकेंड इज द कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग दिस इज द सेकेंड फेस जो कि आपने वहां देखा कंसल्टेशन विद ओडी कंसल्टेंट बिकॉज इवन द कंसल्टेंट when commits for introducing certain changes needs to know what he or she wants to do abhi main pehle aapko ye explain kar lo ki main in detail bataunga what is required by a consultant to know and what should the client be sure of because before indulging or asking an outsider to help teesra phase hai diagnosis ye maine aapko dikhaya tha data gathering aur डायग्नोसिस है चौथा है फीडबैक ऑफ कोर्स जो मैंने आपको दिखाया फीडबैक टू क्लाइंट इन ग्रुप एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज द प्लानिंग चेंज एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट दिस इज कम्बिनेशन ऑफ द टू जहां ज्वाइंट डायग्नोसिस करते हैं और एक्शन प्लानिंग जो कि पहले मैं आपको दिखा चुका हूं दिस इज एक्चुअली द प्लानिंग चेंज फेज वेन द ओडी कंसल्टेंट अलॉन्ग विद टीम एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस चेंज प्लान प्लान करते हैं ताकि इंट्रोड्यूस किया जाए एंड सिक्स इज इंप्लीमेंटिंग दैट प्लान चेंज विच द सिक्स वन एंड सेवन इज दैल्युएशन दैट इज डेटा गैदरिंग आफ्टर सो दैट यू मे हैव अ वेरी क्लियर पिक्चर दैट ओ एक्शन रिसर्च के अंदर ओडी कंसल्टेंट किन किन फेजेस से गुजरता है और क्लाइंट कैसे विद 
with the help of OD consultant brings about the change. Talking about the first one, the entry point, I said this is where our contact between the person who initiates, the one who realizes that the company needs an external help. It could be human resource director, it could be industri industrial relation officer, realizing that the company is not making profit, realizing that there's a lot of friction within the employees, realizing that somehow the company is not growing, they need external advice, consultation. So at this stage, the approach is to an external consultant. Then what happens is that a process of exploration starts that after the person who initiated that idea invites normally it is not a doctor patient relationship you go to a doctor and you start explaining what you are feeling or what's the problem with the body no here it is it's quite different it's like trying to explore both the one who has initiated it and the one who is expecting to come into an organization and introduce changes or propose changes, they have a dialogue. Kabi kabi, they go out for lunch and dinner, and the OD consultant apne perspective se analyze kar hota hai, and the client, the one who has initiated it, wo assess kar raha hota hai, gauge kar raha hota hai ki ye OD consultant mein capacity hai ki nahi. Wo kaise? Tarikhe se tries to find out what is the background, what are the values, what are the OD consultant ki ethics, I will deal with separately, deal karunga. but at this stage it is important that the one from the organization side need to know. Shaks ke andar skills hain, leadership skills hain, interpersonal skills hain, vagara vagara. On his or her side, that thing is going on. Client B kuch apne zehen ke andar questions rakkar, assess kar raha hota hai, whether the uh, consultant should accept that assignment or not. Wo questions kya hai? Main aapko screen pe dikha raha hon. That is, the consultant assesses the probability of relating with the client, the motivation and values of the client, the client's readiness for change, the extent of resources available, and potential leverage points of change. Kyunke OD consultant ke liye zaruri hai ki wo dekhe ki organization ke andar flexibility bhi hai ke nahi. Unke desire hai resources spare karenge ke nahi. And also I must tell you that normally what happens is ke consultant request to the organization chief because it is managed from the top that he would like to conduct an off-site meeting with a team of people jin ke saath wo diagnose karega. Wo ye bhi ijazut leta hai ke wo individually logon ko se ja ke milega before he or she signs the contract because it is his responsibility or her responsibility. I am talking about the consultant ke kya ye changes accept karenge ke nahi. To is liye consultant ko contract karne se pehle kaafi process mein se guzarna padta. So, is entry point ke baad, second phase hai, and that is the contracting. Now, contracting me an explicit change of expectations takes place, and they are clarified by the consultant and the client in distinct three areas. Wo kya? Ke jab contract sign wo karta hai, to the OD mentions there, the OD consultant mentions, what each expects to get from the relationship. Ye badi clear demarcation honi chahiye because there should not be any confusion that the organization may jo log change may involve honge wo expect kare ke the, the consultant will give them prescription ek ready made solution de dega. No. OD consultant unko explain karta hai ke what are the different roles. Second is how much time each will invest, when and at what cost. 
because I told you initially it's a very long process. So therefore, OT consultant distinctively अपने contract में बताता है कि कितना काम करना है, कितनी देर लगेगी, how much finances would be involved. And the third is the ground rules under which the parties will operate. Distinct. After having signed that, OT consultant starts the diagnostic process. और mind it ये diagnostic process वो है जिसके अंदर के दो बड़े distinct steps हैं. एक तो वो normally what happens is the organizations give the hard data, production data, लोगों के बारे में data, organization structure. But OD consultant needs much more than that. The consultant wants to meet individually with senior people, junior level pay, middle manager say, personal interviews karna chahta hai. And mostly, ye interviews us wakat karta hai aur waha karta hai jahan people are away from the workplace. Taake lot of confidentiality is involved, unko kaam se bhi faragat ho. So, iske liye wo apna diagnostic process shuru karta hai. Or once the consultant completes that diagnostic process, second very important step is to analyze that information and bring it back. That is the feedback. Aye, I will tell you the diagnosis ki ek case example so that you may have a very clear idea that diagnosis other than what the data is given by the organization, hard data, kya hai. One OD practitioner conducted interviews with the senior management group. So, usne kya kiya? Unko char questions general har ek se puche. Wo questions kya thai? What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? Are you in favor of the offside meeting? Man jase kaha tha ke normally OD consultant wahan workplace se unko kahin le jata hai. Normally, hotel mein chale jate hai. Subha shaam, they have a meeting. They have an open, free environment. They have discussion. Ask the question, are you in favor of off-site meeting? And fourth question is, what should be the objective of the off-site meeting? Agar aap iske favor mein hai, to isme se kya nikal na chahiye? And you will be amazed, ki mein aapko data dikha raha hoon, ki in charo sawalon ke, jo managers the, middle or senior managers, उन्होंने जवाब कैसे दिए एंड दैट विल गिव यू एन इंडिकेशन के ओडी कंसल्टेंट कैसे फीडबैक करेगा देखिए पहले सवाल के व्हाट आर द स्ट्रेंथ्स कुछ सात लोगों ने जो पैरेंथीसिस में मैं आपने फिगर दी हुई है इट्स द आंसर उन्होंने कहा कि सीनियर मैनेजमेंट इज हाईली एक्सपीरियंस इन बिजनेस दे रियलाइज के सीनियर मैनेजर की बहुत एक्सपीरियंस है कमिटमेंट ऑफ फोर्स भी है पांच लोगों ने कहा गुड पीपल थ्रू आउट Last four years, we experienced success in many areas. Technologically, we are superior in market. Yes, only three people have said. Creativity ke baare mein sirf do bandho ne kaha. And managers think entrepreneurially ke wo sirf do bande socha ke hum ye broader perspective mein sochte hain. Ye to unhon ne kaha hamari is strengths hain. Jab weaknesses ke baare mein poocha gaya, because the OD consultant would like to know ke kaun sa weaker area hai. तो छह बंदों ने जवाब दिया कि मार्केटिंग और सर्विसिंग सिस्टम बड़ा कमजोर है उन्होंने कहा वो प्रायोरिटी को एस्टेब्लिश नहीं करते तीन बंदों ने यह भी जवाब दिया कि प्रायोरिटीज आर ऑलवेज सेकेंडरी टू इंडिविजुअल मैनेजर्स कि इंडिविजुअल मैनेजर्स के लिए कुछ और प्रायोरिटीज हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रायोरिटीज नहीं है डेप्थ नहीं है प्लानिंग नहीं है हाई कॉस्ट है लो मोरल है गोया के इसके अंदर उन्होंने काफी सी वीकनेस के बारे में बता दिया अब आइए कि उन्होंने डायग्नोसिस व्हाट शुड बी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द ऑफसाइट मीटिंग जब उनसे यह पूछा गया कि इस मीटिंग से हासिल क्या होगा तो उन्होंने कहा सात बंदों में विच इज द मेजॉरिटी उन्होंने कहा वी नीड टू नो कि वेयर डज आर कंपनी स्टैंड हमारा रीजनल स्ट्रक्चर कैसा होना चाहिए दे वर कंसर्न अबाउट बिकॉज मैंशन अर्लियर दैट दे वर सीनियर मैनेजर्स देवर एक्सपीरियंस मैनेजर्स तो दे वर कंसर्न अबाउट हमारा स्ट्रक्चर क्या होना चाहिए एंड छह बंदों ने जवाब दिया कि हमारे फाइनेंशियल ऑब्जेक्टिव अगले दो सालों के लिए क्या होना चाहिए एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या होने चाहिए हम कैसे अपनी फीलिंग्स को वेंटिलेट करें वगैरह वगैरह सच वद आंसर्स आइए अब हम फीडबैक की तरफ आ जाते 
जब ये एक्सरसाइज ओडी कंसल्टेंट ने कर ली एंड रियलाइज दैट ऑल द मैनेजर्स दे हैव द फीलिंग ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट वेयर इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मूविंग बट चेट दे वर सर्टन वीकनेसेस जब उसने फीडबैक दी टू द सेम ग्रुप सम डिड नॉट एग्री देखिए वो है जब मैंने आपको सर्वे फीडबैक की बात की थी यू रिमेंबर कि वहां भी वन ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स डिड नॉट एग्री विद द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द बिहेवियर यहां भी चूंकि ये कॉन्फिडेंशियल उसकी वन टू वन मीटिंग्स थी और ग्रुप में भी थी कुछ लोगों ने इसको एग्री नहीं किया एंड दैट्स वाई द ओडी कंसल्टेंट हैड टू गिव एन एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड टेल दैम that the areas where they agreed upon and the areas where few thought that need to be attended to aur dusron ne kaha nahi ye hamara bada strong area lihaza out of this feedback out of this diagnosis ek cheez emerge hui od consultant found out that senior management ko kis tarike se decision making pe laya ja sakta hai having done this then the next stage is the planning change माइंड इट कि जब ओडी कंसल्टेंट फीडबैक दे रहा था द कंसल्टेंट डिड रियलाइज दैट वेरी मैनी मैनेजर्स देम सेल्स आइडेंटिफाइड एरियाज विच द थॉट नीड अटेंशन वेयर द नीड एक्सटर्नल एडवाइस वेयर द नीड एक्सटर्नल हेल्प सो एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट ड्यूरिंग द डायग्नोस्टिक प्रोसेस ड्यूरिंग दट फीडबैक प्रोसेस वहां से ही ऑटोमेटिकली प्लानिंग के ओपनिंग्स जो है वो खुल रही थी नाउ सो नाउ वंस द डायग्नोसिस इज अंडरस्टूड एंड डीम्ड एक्यूरेट एक्शन स्टेप्स आर प्लान रिमेंबर दैट गुड डायग्नोसिस डिटर्मिन्स द इंटरवेंशन डायग्नोसिस प्रोसेस ऐसा है कि जहां काफी डीपर इंटरवेंशन मेंबर्स की और ओडी की ऑलरेडी शुरू हो चुकी है and when they are looking into the problems so automatically out of that solutions are emerging and they start thinking about and talking sharing ke hamara change process kya hoga change plan kya hoga so planning phase automatically emerge hota hai diagnosis se so after having planned given giving a shape to what has emerged out of the diagnostic process what in this phase is done is aap in true sense in say in clear perspective aap implementation ke phase ko plan out karte the so basically when we are talking about the planning phase here we are not talking ki hum yahi se planning shuru karte hain shuru wo diagnostic se hi ho chuka hota hai लेकिन यहां से इंप्लीमेंटेशन फेज के बारे में हम सो वंस वी टॉक अबाउट द इंप्लीमेंटेशन सो दैट इज वेयर इन अ रियल सेंस द इंटरवेंशन स्टार्ट्स दैट इज द सिक्स्थ फेज नाउ इंटरवेंशन एट द इंडिविजुअल लेवल दैट इंटरवेंशन इज एट ऑल लेवल्स लाइक लेवन मॉडल बट टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंडिविजुअल लेवल्स इट इज जॉब रीडिजाइन एंड एनरिचमेंट इट इज ट्रेनिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट डेवलपमेंट it is changes in the quality of working life it is introducing the management by objectives and career development ye sari interventions yahan se shuru ho jati kisi stage mein main aapko bataunga ki ki phased jab program of change aata hai to wahan distinctive phases nahi hote ye nahi ki you from you are moving from one step to the other i'll be talking to you today in detail as well but keep in mind yahan thodi si overlapping hai and it is permissible but anyway implementation ke liye intervention stage starts now after you have implemented all these things which are talked about then action research demands that you once again collect the data once again you evaluate and find out whether all that has been planned is working or not but who should do that normally it is it is better that someone from outsider sometime some someone coming from outside i mean to say not the od 
consultant and not the members involved in that program. Somebody else from the organization because after all everybody is involved and is interested to find out that whether the things are improving or not so someone else should evaluate and that is how this process of action research model is completed. That is we once have evaluated and found out yes the things are working so comes the last stage that is the termination of the OD effort. When they say termination you should immediately ask me does termination really occur? No. Termination is not an applicable phase for internal auditor because as I mentioned to you earlier that kabhi kabhi organizations ke andar apna ek department create kiya jata hai jo ke internal OD uh, department hota hai. Lekin external auditor ki ye ab stage hai ke hum usko khair baat kaya sakte hai. But an organization has a constant need because whether the managers see it or not they may accept it or not as the organizations change there will be need of more and more change because new gen data is being generated because the process is cyclical because the organization is dynamic so therefore termination as a matter of fact in theory does not happen aap practically usko keh sakte hain ki that is enough but then you might have to come back to the OD consultant for analyzing further data. When I started saying that these are the steps, hain, they are phases, not steps. Because steps implies discrete actions. Ke ek action kiya, dusra action kiya, while phases, it connotes a cycle of changes. This is the way you are in the cold jab thande kamre mein aate hain agar main aap se puchhu ki can you can you point me out the boundary no it is in fact the process blends it overlaps and it doesn't exactly follow from one to the other so therefore this process is called as phase one phase moving from one phase to the other that was all about the action research i hope that you fairly have got a good concept of what action research is. How does it differ from Levin's model? In Tino models, once I have completed the third one, which is the contemporary action research as well, I will compare the three and let you know that which uh, model is better or which model is applicable. Now let's move on to the third model and that is the contemporary adaptation of the action research. Contemporary action research can that it starts with choosing the positive subjects, moves on to collect positive stories with broad participation, then examining the data and developing possibility propositions, developing a vision with broad participation, develop action plan and then you evaluate it. While talking about the contemporary action research, let me focus your attention on something slightly different what we do here. Basically, hai to action research. Lekin, jaise ki maine aapko diagram mein dikhaya, ki we start with the positive attitude. We start with the positive action. We start with positive stories. In fact, action research ke andar, you when you are doing research, you try to find out what is wrong in an organization. So, aapki approach zara slightly different hai, finding faults. Finding what is not working. Yaha contemporary action research mein wo keh rahe ke why don't we have a different approach? And that is, instead of all the time talking about that the costs are high, that people are inefficient, that morales are low, hum kyu nahi ye dekhte ki hamari organization ke agar che cost bahut high hain aur hamare product is tarah se nahi bik rahe jaise bakiyon ke bik rahe hain lekin still there are people in the market 
who are buying our products. That is, कोई ऐसा सेगमेंट है जो कि हमारे प्रोडक्ट को पसंद कर रहा है एंड देन वी से दैट आर पीपल आर इन एफिशियंट इफ सच इज द केस दो ड्रॉप आउट जो हमारी कंपनी को छोड़ के जा रहे हैं और हायर पोजिशन पे अच्छी जगहों पे अच्छी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जा रहे हैं तो वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद आस तो वाइल यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन इन एफिशियंसी एंड नेगेटिव पॉइंट देर आर स्टिल पॉजिटिव स्टोरीज आप कहते हैं कि मोरल बहुत लो है बट फिर भी आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में कोई ना कोई तो ऐसी स्टोरी होगी कि यू कुड से वेल समी डेड एन एक्सलेंट जॉब वाई कैन दैट बी अ गुड प्रेसिडेंस सो शिफ्टिंग द फोकस ऑन एंटायरली डिफरेंट एंगल दैट वॉज अ वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस फॉर सम ऑफ द कंसल्टेंट्स एंड दैट्स हाउ द कंटेम्प्रेरी एक्शन रिसर्च मैथड वॉज अडॉप्टेड इसके अंदर उन्होंने दो अडेप्टेशन की पहली अडेप्टेशन ये कि उन्होंने कहा कि एज अ कंट्रास्ट टू द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच ऑफ द एक्शन रिसर्च जिसके अंदर के कंसल्टेंट जो है वो ही मेजर काम करता है बिकॉज एवरीथिंग रिवॉल्व अराउंड द ओ टी कंसल्टेंट ऑल दो दी ओ टी कंसल्टेंट इन्वॉल्व द मेंबर्स बट शेट सारी स्ट्रक्चरल प्लानिंग कौन कौन सी एक्टिविटीज प्लान करनी है ग्रुप्स को इन्वॉल्व करना है एज अ मैटर फैक्ट एवरीथिंग इज फ्लोइंग from the od consultant so what they do is that the degree of member involvement wo kehte hain isko increase kar diya jaye so pehli to adaptation action research mein ye hui ke wahan se unhone involvement of people member from the organization increased and second is the integration of an interpretive or social constructionist approach to planned change social constructionist it is also called appreciative inquiry and this model proposes that words and conversations determine what is important and meaningful in organizational life ab ye dekhiye ki is action research mein unhone ek aur angle ko pick kiya hai aur wo keh rahe hain ki hum कौन सी वोकेबलरी इस्तेमाल करें हमारे वर्ड्स और कॉन्वर्सेशन कुछ और रिफ्लेक्ट करते हैं और उससे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में लोगों का मूड लोगों का बिहेवियर चेंज होता है टेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल द वर्क ग्रुप हुज डेली कॉन्वर्सेशन आर डोमिनेटेड बाय मैनेजमेंट फीडबैक दैट इट्स कॉस्ट आर हाई इवन इफ द ग्रुप परफॉर्म्स वेल ऑन क्वालिटी एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन the focus on cost problems can lead group members to believe that the group is a poor performer ab ye dekhiye ki agar roz logon ko ye kaha jaye ki cost high hai cost high hai is pe kaam kare to wo log jo jinka focus tha customer happiness customer pleasure customer satisfaction aur wahan se quality ko bhi they will say there is no point बिकॉज द मैनेजमेंट कॉन्स्टेंटली हमें कह रही है कॉस्ट हाई है कॉस्ट हाई है सो लिहाजा उनकी परफॉर्मेंस इफेक्ट करती है उनका मोरल लो हो जाता है अकॉर्डिंगली दिस अप्रोच टू चेंज इन्वॉल्व स्टार्टिंग न्यू कन्वर्सेशन दैट ड्राइव न्यू शेयर मीनिंग ऑफ की गोल्स प्रोसेस एंड अचीवमेंट्स नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज instead of focusing on things like poor financial results on organization is not working well gap between what is and what is desired and the other things that the organization is facing wo keh rahe hain is sabse aise zahar hota hai jaise hamari organization jo hai is all problems that there are nothing good happening in this organization and we are all the time focusing on organization ki problems ke upar wo keh rahe hain iska focus shift kar lo so appreciative inquiry challenges that assumption and it suggests 
that the most important change an organization can make is to begin conversations about what the organization is doing right. देखिए entirely a shift. अगर मैं किसी बच्चे को कहना शुरू कर दूं कि तुम तो बहुत इंटेलिजेंट हो तुम बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हो यू डूइंग वेरी वेल द चाइल्ड विल स्टार्ट इंप्रूविंग बट इफ आई से यू आर डफा यू आर नॉन सेंस यू आर स्टोप एड अ टाइम विल कम द चाइल्ड विल बिलीव लाइक दैट सो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में भी लोग जब उनको एक पॉजिटिव फीलिंग्स दी जाए पॉजिटिव एंगल दिखाया जाए अप्रिशिएटिव इंक्वायरी में इंडल्ज किया जाए ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चेंज अप्रिशिएटिव इंक्वायरी हेल्प्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेंबर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड डिस्क्राइब देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हेन इट इज वर्किंग एट इट्स बेस्ट दैट नॉलेज इज देन अप्लाइड टू क्रिएटिंग अ पावरफुल एंड गाइडिंग इमेज ऑफ व्हाट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कुड बी दैट इज कि हम अपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर अप्रिशिएटिव इंक्वायरी इंट्रोड्यूस करने से हमारे लोगों की अप्रोच बदल सकती है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जब आप कंटेम्प्रेरी एक्शन रिसर्च इंट्रोड्यूस करेंगे तो लेट मी शो यू कि ये किस तरीके से एक्शन रिसर्च की हमने मॉडिफिकेशन की है पहला कि द रोल ऑफ ओडी कंसल्टेंट इज टू वर्क विद मेंबर्स एंड टू फैसिलिटेट इट यहां ओडी कंसल्टेंट सारी इंस्ट्रक्शंस नहीं देता बल्कि सिर्फ क्या करता है फैसिलिटेट करता है एंड सेकंड इज दैट बोथ पार्टीज आर को लर्नर्स ओडी कंसल्टेंट भी लर्न कर रहा है एंड दी टीम मेंबर्स आर लर्निंग टू थर्ड नीदर पार्टी डोमिनेट्स द चेंज प्रोसेस हमने पहले एक्शन रिसर्च में देखा कि द लीड रोल इज प्लेड बाय द कंसल्टेंट हमने लेवन में भी देखा कि वहां तीन बंदों ने सारा मिशन विजन चेंज किया यहां पीपल देम सेल्व ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज वर्किंग व्हाट ऑट टू बी देयर एंड हाउ द थिंग्स कैन इंप्रूव सो यहां हर पार्टनर कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहा है ईच पार्टिसिपेंट लर्न फ्रॉम द चेंज प्रोसेस organization members learn how to change their organization and how to refine and improve it or od consultant learn how to facilitate complex organizational change and learning therefore if i have to conclude this contemporary action research i can say that plan change starts with which organization features to examine contemporary action research may पहले आइडेंटिफाई करना है कौन से फीचर को हमने एग्जामिन करना है टोटल डायग्नोसिस ब्लाइंडली नहीं करनी हमने टीम वर्क खराब है हमारी मिशन ठीक नहीं है वगैरह वगैरह बट मे बी विल सी व्हाट थिंग्स आर वर्किंग वेल लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दैट सेकंड स्टेप इज इट इन्वॉल्व्स गैदरिंग डेटा अबाउट द बेस्ट ऑफ वॉट इज इन दर्गेनाइजेशन सी द डिफरेंस इन द अप्रोच इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में क्या चीज काम करी पहले उसको ले लेते हैं फिर हम देखेंगे कि वीकर एरिया हम कैसे एड्रेस करें द थर्ड स्टेप मेंबर्स एग्जामिन द डेटा टू फाइंड स्टोरीज दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के मेंबर्स जैसे मैंने शुरू में कहा था कि सिंपली स्प्रेडिंग दिस इंप्रेशन दैट थिंग्स आर नॉट वर्किंग मोरल लो है इनएफिशियंसी है इट इज गोइंग to create another gloomy environment lehaza first see examine the data to find good stories then further is in the fourth step relevant stakeholders are brought together to construct a vision of the future and to devise action plans for moving in that direction dekhi yahan in a way jo mission जो विजन जो प्लान जो मैसेजेस जो मोटोज हैं अब इस स्टेज पे बन रहे हैं लेकिन कहां से शुरू हुए फर्स्ट दे डायग्नोज बेस्ड ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द पीपल इन अ वे ये वो लेवन का पार्ट ऑफ द मॉडल इज बीइंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर दैट दे मे दे मे एट दिस स्टेज से ओके लेट्स मैनेज पीपल फर्स्ट और लेट्स 
make this organization the favorite organization. So, Shahan Lok collectively, with the success stories, they give a mission or a vision to the rest of the people. And finally, implementation of those plans proceeds similarly to the action and assessment phases of action research as we described earlier. Yaha, contemporary research ke andar. Jab aapne sari cheeze identify kar liye, priorities set kar liye, to now we can go back to the action plan, action research plan pe and start repeating the phase jo ke maine dousre model mein bata hai. So, having said that, you will fairly find out the difference between action research model and the contemporary action research model. Slight difference, but mostly philosophical difference. That, that is, focusing on their strengths, focusing on the success stories, and then building upon, but basically incorporating the same philosophy which the Levin explained in the action research. In conclusion, I would like you to study each of these models very carefully and see what are the different patterns of or different phases of introducing the changes. Because in certain organizations, Levin model will be very effective. In certain areas, certain organizations, where you want a complete transformation of the organization, which you might like to employ the action research model. But where you do not want to have a very lengthy process of plan change, you might opt for the contemporary action research. All these three phases involve resources, different time periods, and commitment by people. And the Levin's model, perhaps you might do without the OD consultant, but still, when a person, as I said to you, the HR director was an experience, he was a consultant, and therefore, internally, you know, consultation key. But where that expertise is not available, surely the Levin's model too would be needing the assistance and consultation from, from outside. Action research ke andar, you are never sure. Ab next lecture mein, inshallah, mein aapko explain karunga ke action research model mein, you are never sure where the things are moving. Because when you are indulging into diagnostic process, then things are unfolding and more and more research is needed for further action. So you are never sure in action research model mein ke aapko ek saal lagega, do saal lagega, teen saal lagenge. Therefore, in action research model mein time period, kuch pata nahi. And sometimes when the organizations are undergoing a big transformation altogether, aap unki strategic change ko focus kar rahe hai. So it might take a couple of years and still you might keep on continuing on with the change process. Lake in contemporary action research ke andar, you for the time being can pick up certain success stories. You can uh, selectively see what is working well in an organization and can uh, stop or uh, cannot afford to go into a very lengthy process which involves a lot of uh, resources and commitment by people within and even outside. I would like you to collect more data on all these three models. Inshallah, I will in the next lectures, you will case studies bhi Perhaps next, may, may definitely, I plan to give you a case study so that you may start on your own and uh, you should thinking pattern banna chahiye, aap, uh, you could take up the role of a change agent, of a change uh, leader. I, I'm, uh, I'm sure 
you enjoyed all these three models and surely it must have given you lots of new ideas. But it will only be practical if you remember them and start looking for organizations or start looking for examples where you think you could be effective. Thank you very much. And inshallah, agle uh, lecture me, me in tino models ka comparison karunga or uh, which one has uh, more edge over the other, in ki weaknesses kya hai, or thodi si in ki comparative study hum karenge, and then we'll even involve uh, what the critiques say, and then inshallah hum this change process ko close karenge. Thank you very much. Khuda Hafiz. Thank you.